So this is the new major update for Chrome OS Flex version 118 and this brings a lot of new features and customizations. So watch the video till the end to find out more about it. So let's get started. So I'm on the latest developer version and this update should arrive for this table 1, 2. So first of all you will notice the colors have changed so we finally have the material U colors here and uh, you can check out all these uh, quick toggles that we have talked about before so this is the dark mode and this is how it looks so you can check out all the colors has changed for the settings also the accent colors and changes according to the wallpaper and uh, for the audio we have the expanded options now for the audio and brightness and this is how it looks in the light mode so these colors are really pretty and I will show you if you go to the wallpaper and style option now we have the same uh, material U option that we have in the phone and you can check out how the colors changes now we have the a slight lighter tint on the quick toggles so I'm using this wallpaper from the composition wallpaper set and it has a lot of beautiful wallpapers as you can see so I'm going to change the wallpaper now to this uh, this yellowish one and you can check out the accent colors has also changed and from the screen servers i have noticed a new option so we have a new slideshow option and we can change the temperature matrix for that so let's check out first the usual options that we had before like this first and this second the floating one and finally the one that looks like chromecast with the temperature and time at the bottom left and uh, you can also have your google photos album if you have any and show them as on the screen saver screen so that is good now the material you also applies to your uh, keyboard and you can check out even the gesture trail has the accent color and it looks quite good even in the full screen mode so it applies to the keyboard as well and uh, now the second biggest change would be this new browser and uh, it is the chrome browser but now you can check out the add option so we have now option for multiple profiles this was a long awaiting feature that we have used in the windows as well as linux so we could have also installed it using linux i have shown before it also but now we finally have it in build so we can have multiple google accounts and use them at the same time without signing out from either of them and if you hover on the maximize button uh, we have multiple window option for multitasking so you can snap two browsers side by side and uh, you do your work on one and anything else on the other and uh, i've also used to like if you have the youtube as a progressive web app you can just use it and spin it as a floating window so it makes um, multitasking much easier so to enable this option you need to go to the chrome flags and enable these two lacrosse settings so the first one is the lacrosse is the only browser and second is this ignore lacrosse availability policy so just enable these and restart and you should see this new browser now the other thing i've noticed is this new experimental generative search and this may not be available for everyone but it actually uses ai so if you search for anything it's going to show all your result on the top side and this is something that i noticed i just wanted to mention it this is a screencast app that we have built in and if you record your screen using this application it automatically transcripts your audio and it comes really in handy if you're recording a lecture or a tutorial video you can also draw using this app so it's really good and uh, you can check out that the material also applies to the calendar widget the notification and everything so it looks really fresh the file manager also has a couple of new features added so first of all you can access all your google drive files right from here and uh, another new feature is that of a pin to self option so right click of any of the file and then choose the option pin to self now this will create a new section called pin files on your notification area and you can check out all your files that you have pinned in that section and also unpinned it from there if you do not like it so it's good for if you have some documents that you want easy access to you can pin them on the notification we also have a new search options so we can easily search all our files that are available on our computer and it does not include the searches from the google drive options so you can only search for files that are available on your computer we can also narrow down the file searches by 
date time and folder type so it makes it much easier and uh, you can also toggle between the grid view or the list view and we also have another advanced option that i was waiting for that is the new window option so we can finally have multiple instances of the file manager which makes it possible to easily transfer files from one folder to another by simply dragging and drop and we had this feature in the windows um, explorer and the linux but we now finally have it on our chrome os flex as well and it's really good to see that chrome os flex is upgrading and adding all these new features and uh, we can even use this as a windows or linux alternative now if you want because it has become that stable so that was it for this video i hope you like this video don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one